If, like me, you're a big Nintendo fan, I really hope you will like this video because in my hand I have a NES. Well, not an actual NES, obviously, but an emulator running on a Raspberry Pico. And what's even better is it's easy to build and it isn't very expensive either. But before we jump into that, let's just consider the NES for a minute. entertainment system the one to play with rob the extraordinary video robot batteries not included he helps you tackle even the toughest challenge will you be the first to raise the incredibly accurate zapper and play games like duck hunt or action-packed hogan's alley and high-flying kung fu each sold separately will you be the one to experience the nintendo entertainment system comes with rob zapper control deck two controllers gyromite and duck hunt so here it is here in the flesh and it's already built. This is not a build video. And the main reason why this is not a build video is because this was very kindly sent me by John, one of my subscribers. So thank you, John, for sending me this. It's it's really it's really fantastic. And I've had this video out sooner other than for the fact that I've spent the last three days just playing on it. But there you go. So looking at the board then, there's really not much going on with it. You've got a couple of connectors for the for the joystick parts. You've got a choice of either the original NES or the SNES. Now it's not two player, it is single player, but at least you can choose which one you want to play with. Or you could just install the connector of your preference. It doesn't need both connecting. These can be found online. There's links on the GitHub page that I've put in the description. They're relatively easy to get hold of and inexpensive. So obviously we've got the uh, Raspberry Pico there. Uh, that's direct solder to the ball, so that's surface mounted. So if you're new to surface mounting like what I am, then that might take a little bit of practice. It does need to be surface mounted. Uh, a little uh, three pin on off switch, once again, uh, to get one of those. There are links um, in the project pages. Little breakout board for the SD card to store all the games on because the Pico doesn't have much in terms of internal storage. I think it has something like two megabytes, which uh, which isn't going to be enough, obviously. And then to get the signal out, it's there's a HDMI breakout board. And just note that the breakout boards they're they're all lifted off with uh, with headers just to um, just to stop them from shorting out on the on the main board itself, which obviously you wouldn't want to do. To get the board, they, that's how they would come. Nice and simple. There really is not much to it, is there? There really isn't much at all. So, like I say, that's that's SMD. That surface mount soldered on is uh, is the Pico, and the breakout boards are through hole. And obviously, you want to use use headers there, and uh, and spaces either side on the the SD card breakout board as well, just uh, just to stop any any potential shots there from from going on joystick parts connecting there through uh, through hole connections and that really is it and I just love the attention to detail because turning around and looking at the back we've got uh, we've got the graphics there of Mario because let's face it that's probably going to be one of the first games you play on there I just love the simplicity of it so rather than dwell on the, the assembly because all the instructions are quite detailed all the details of ordering the, the little breakout boards as well uh, all the all the files all the PCB files to get made up exactly the same as this they're all they're all once again in the GitHub pages so you can upload these to PCB way and have them make up the boards for you absolutely nothing complicated about it whatsoever a really great little project to do so with that said i think what we need to do is we need to get it plugged in and give it a try i'll just mention uh power in through the board is is through the raspberry pico so 
there's no other additional power requirements. We just need uh, that mini USB connector and, uh, and a five volt supply, and uh, and you're good to go. So let's let's go get this thing plugged in. So here it is connected up to uh, to a TV. Apologies for the Heath Robinson setup. I still don't have a capture card, and the other TV didn't want to work on. So here we go. This is this is the file structure. It's it's how you create it on your SD card, I suppose, whether you like it. But we'll put a game on and see how we get on. So starting off with a quick game of 1943 then. It plays quite well. Uh, what you might see as the game progresses is a little bit of artifacting here and there. Whether that's due to the Pico Ness or not, I do not know. But the good thing about it is it does play really well. It plays authentic to the NES. See that little artifact there? You see some more perhaps appearing shortly. But it does play really well and there's no lag on the input. It's really, it's really responsive. And it's it's generally uh, it's generally pretty good actually. Very much like uh, I remember playing on the original NES itself. So a quick change of game then. Let's go for Super Mario Brothers. Because that has to be one of the best games of all time on the NES. And I found this to be really, really good. Uh, my gameplay is, is shocking, but it's... Um, it plays it plays really well and it's it's nothing to do with the game itself it's just it's just purely me being being rubbish and sat quite back trying to keep out of the camera that's my excuse anyway I'm, I'm sticking to it there's now the death coming there we go If you wonder why I'm holding my mic, it's because I managed to snap the clip on the back. So I'm trying to improvise with uh, a bit of peg. We'll see how that works out for me. I think this is absolutely brilliant. I think there are some compromises and I'll go through them. First thing is, obviously, it's single player. I don't think that'll be a big issue for most of us, but... It's, it's a consideration, isn't it? Second thing is, of course, it's very much a piece of hardware that's meant to do one thing, albeit it does it really quite well. If you're looking to do several retro consoles, you're probably better off getting a full-blown Raspberry Pi than sticking retro Pi on it. But that said, it does, it does a fairly decent job. But... There are other issues as well, and the other issue is that some games just don't want to seem to run on it. And when you look at the GitHub page, it would suggest that these are perhaps more of an issue with the larger games, and the Raspberry Pi just just hasn't got the memory to, to play those games properly. That's my understanding of it anyway. Correct me in the comments if I'm wrong. And last but not least, and I think it might be a quirk that is specific to me, I couldn't get audio out on on these TVs. But they're all the same model. But I've tried several other TVs that I have that are different to these, and it's not an issue. So I'm just making you aware of it. It's probably not going to affect you, but if if you've got a really old flat panel Sony TV, like what I've got here, then if you've got no sound, then um, it's probably the TV rather than the Raspberry Pi. Wrapping up then, it's it's a really easy build. It's, it's not expensive and there's a lot of fun to be had from it. You could look to stick it in a project box, I suppose. There's perhaps, there's perhaps 3D 
cases online, or if you know what you're doing, you can you can probably make one up yourself. So that's it, really. Uh, thank you again to John uh, for supplying this. It's fantastic. I will be making up the other one at some point. And thank you as well to Brandon Leitner, who's part of the RCR Massive. If you'd like to join my channel and financially support me, that's awesome. There are links in the description. But failing that, thank you for watching. I hope I've earned a subscribe. There's plenty more videos like this to come. And uh, if you did like it, please do consider giving me a thumbs up. Hope to see you in another video soon. Take care and all the best, and bye for now.